What is going on YouTube? I have this question for tonight and it's just a box which is waning 200 newons is at rest on a let's say on a horizontal line we have friction the value of the value of coefficient of static friction mu we were saying is like 3.3 and uh, what you're looking for I mean the question is what is the smallest force F at an angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal line to move the box let me, let me repeat it again we are just looking for the force the smallest value of this force that we can move this box to the right um, so let's let's uh, draw a force diagram to see all the relationships between uh, all the forces that, that we have for this uh, question let's say this is the uh, y and this is the x and y axis um, okay so first of all we have the force of gravity pulling down uh, this mass let's call it W and then since the mass over the object or the box is pushing down on the on the horizontal line then the uh, horizontal line is pushing back against the mass which is going to create another force n which is the normal force and then uh, and that's because you know uh, Newton's third law tells us that there is an equal and opposite force that's how we have the normal force right here and then um, we have this force which is F and the angle between the force and the horizontal line is 45 degrees what else we have oh so like I mentioned uh, at the very beginning in this question we have friction and uh, you know the direction of friction force is always always uh, in the opposite direction of where the object is moving so we are trying to move this object to the right the friction force says hey no I want to push you to the left and that's what we have here which is the force of friction static friction we're going to call it f of s and that's all the forces that we have for um, this problem um, and then because the uh, the object is at rest we can apply uh, the condition for equilibrium what are those what, what is that uh, condition the first one is all of, some of the all the forces in the x direction has to be equal to zero and some of the all the forces in the y direction has to be equal to zero so again some of the all the forces in the x direction has to be equal to zero Uh, let me find also the components of this force its um, horizontal component would be F cosine of 45 degrees and the vertical component of it is F sine of this angle which is 45 degrees 
So now, in the x direction, what we have is we have negative f of s, which is the force of friction. And then we have this component, which is f cosine of 45 degrees. And then that's it. We have nothing else on the x direction. Um, so since we're looking for the value of this force, we can find f here as f of s divided by cosine of 45 degrees. One thing to remember is by definition, the value of friction force f of s equals mu which we are given here times the normal force that's by definition so we can rewrite f as if we substitute uh, f of s with that value would be mu n uh, divided by cosine of 45 degrees. So that's what we have for now. So in order to find F, we have the value of cosine of, we know the value of cosine of 45 degrees. We know the value of mu. We don't know the value of normal force. So we need to figure that out. Um, let's do, let's apply the condition for equilibrium in the y direction. Again, some of the all the forces in the y direction has to be equal to zero. What do we have? In the y direction, we have this force, negative w. We have the normal force, plus n. And we have the horizontal, the vertical component of our force, which is F sine of 45 degrees. And that's it. And that has to be equal to zero. So remember, we were looking for N. N, we can easily find it from here, from this equation. And N is uh, W minus F sine of 45 degrees. Um, okay, so next, what you need to do is just substitute the value of n into that formula or that first equation that we have. So we had f equal, again, mu n divided by cosine of 45 degrees, we can rewrite that as mu times the value of n, which is w minus f sine of 45 degrees divided by cosine of 45 degrees. Um, so we can say f times cosine of 45 degrees equals to mu w minus mu f sine of 45 degrees. And then we can say f cosine of 45 degrees plus mu f sine of 45 degrees um, equals mu w and then if you factor out f from the left side we have f cosine of 45 degrees plus mu sine of 45 degrees that's equal to mu w and then f would be mu w 
divided by cosine of 45 degrees plus mu sine of 45 degrees. So now we just need to put or substitute whatever we have into this equation. Uh, so the value of mu is 0.3 times the value of W, which is 200 newtons times 200 newtons divided by cosine of 45 degrees plus mu, which is 0.3 times the value of sine of 45 degrees. That's going to give us um, approximately 65.27. So, newtons. That's the smallest value of force that we need to exert at 45 degrees to this um, object in that direction in order to be able to move this object to the right. And uh, I think that's all we needed to find. One thing to notice here is based on this formula, we know that force is mu times W divided by uh, those values, right? This formula is a really interesting proof that um, the larger or the bigger the value of um, coefficient of static friction, the larger or the stronger force we need to move in order to or in order to move that object. The smaller value of mu, the less force we need to exert for this object to move it to the right, which makes sense, right? Because the less friction, the easier. The more friction, the harder it would be to move that object. That was it. Thank you very much.